Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Kwaku, and today is going to be the beginning of a new series on this channel, which is going to be called Inside Edge, Inside Microsoft Edge. Basically, I'm going to run through piece by piece functions of Microsoft Edge as they get introduced um, that you can do with it. Um, and in this one, you don't really even need to have it in the insider previews of Edge. As you know, Edge has the dev channel, and they also have a release channel and then they also have their canary channel which is the one that gets updates like every day but in this one you can do this even in the normal one which i'm going to demonstrate right now so if you click on it this is microsoft edge and in this video i'm going to talk about pwas progressive web apps now in a nutshell a progressive web app is basically a web app that in that kind of works in conjunction with your os but it's really just a web wrapper in a way basically it is essentially you going to YouTube and normally you would see a tab of YouTube. Say if I click YouTube, you would see a tab of YouTube and it would pop up and it would have all this stuff up here, right? Tabs and all this stuff. Say if you have kids, they might click on all these URLs and everything. A progressive web app will pretty much lock you into YouTube because it's being essentially installed as a separate app. Now to get that available, you might have seen up in this corner that it said app available. In fact, let me see if I restart, will it show app available? No, it doesn't. But it probably showed app available and I didn't take a glance at it. Now, what you would do then is you would click over here and you would hit install YouTube. So you see this area here in the URL address bar, you click install YouTube. It says install YouTube app. The site will be installed as an application and will be able to open in its own window and safely integrate with windows features such as notification support and all that stuff. So if we hit install, you'll see that if you give it a while, and I'll jump back in once it's finished. And now that it is finished, you see YouTube has been installed on the computer. I can even close out of this whole thing altogether, the other Edge file or the old other Edge uh, application. And this is essentially this is still the YouTube that we saw on Edge itself, but it's running in its own process on the Task Manager. So if I actually go to Task Manager right now, and I go here, you can see Microsoft Edge. You can see YouTube right there. And this is that process. It says PWA helper executable. This is this YouTube app here, because if I close out, you see that YouTube app closes out. And the other way to get back into it is either a, you can go into edge, open up edge when it loads up, then you would go here and then you would go down to apps and you see YouTube there. Or the other way is you can just search for it. So if you type in YouTube, it should just show up. And now you see after a while of it not wanting to show YouTube, YouTube decided to finally load as a best match. And it says YouTube app and it did just show up. So if I click YouTube, it will pop up that progressive web app. Basically it looks and functions like the regular YouTube on the browser, but it's essentially an app and you can do whatever it is that you normally do on YouTube on it, including uploads and all that stuff. Now, the one thing to note is that if you wanna make a new window, Let's say I use the center of the, my scroll wheel on my mouse. Say we want this Babish video. Uh, if, if you want to make a new window, it does open up the new window in. Um, it does open up the new window in the normal Edge. It doesn't open it up in the Progressive Web App. But there is a functionality coming that allows you to do tabbed PWAs, uh, depending on if it's supported. So digging a little deeper with Progressive Web Apps. Uh, if I exit out of this and if I go to the edge dev, which I also have, uh, and then it loads. Now we're in the edge dev browser. Now all I have to do first is I'm going to first delete this YouTube app. In fact, it says it's not installed at all. Let's make sure nothing is installed. There's no apps installed. So now I'm going to go to YouTube again, youtube.com and then wait for it. And then wait for this area up here. It says app available. You click that. And now you see it says open as tabbed window. Now this is gonna open up as a separate YouTube app just because it is under the Edge Dev browser, not the regular Edge browser. So if you hit open as tab window and this feature is only available on Edge Dev and, uh, and Canary. So you click that, hit install, wait for it to finish and then it'll pop up the YouTube Dev essentially under Edge Dev. You can see there that the although the UI looks kinda messed up a little bit, it is now a tabbed YouTube uh, PWA. So if I want to expand it, if I want to go full screen, it looks kind of funky because it is still in preview, but this is YouTube, uh, this is YouTube essentially 
with tabs. So if I want to click on this, please don't, uh, I don't have any time gossip. It opens it up, the video, and it loads. And it just works. And if I want to log in, I can still log in like normal. I can do everything like normal. You can see the tabs uh, work exactly how they should. The title is exactly that. And yeah, it looks really good and it works really well. So that is essentially in a nutshell, um, a few things you can do with Edge, the new Microsoft Edge, Chromium based Edge is progressive web apps. And then if you move deeper and you go into the Microsoft Edge Insider, you also get um, tabbed, tab, tabbed progressive web apps. Um, another thing, like I said, I would do is I would show you another example, which is essentially let's go to, this is under the edge dev, but it works on the normal one. Let's say we want to go to Pinterest. So we want to go to Pinterest.com and load it up and I will sign in and I'll jump back in. And now that we're back in, uh, Pinterest again, uh, so now you can see that Pinterest, the website is as normal. It is Pinterest on the web. It's the normal thing everybody's used to, including this delicious hamburger right here. Um, now you see over here, just like before, the app is available. If you click install, you can choose tabbed window or you can choose just normal if you uncheck it, which it's unchecked. Hit install and then Pinterest will also install as a PWA or progressive web app. Wait for it to load. And there we go. We are now inside Pinterest. Now, before I close up this video, a few features of progressive web apps is as followed. Um, they have a refresh button up above and I heard this is going to be changing a little bit once they start exploring, being able to have a progressive web app use like the whole interface essentially, instead of having this little border up here. Um, so you can refresh, you can see the tab, you can see the name, you can right click, you can browse it on task manager. Um, you can even see these three dots, which is your menu. And then you can see all the features you can do. You can cast to media device, such as your smart TV um, or any of that stuff. You can even see the extensions that you have installed. I have a few extensions, uBlock Origin, I have LastPass, Honey, and then I have 21 by nine um, resizing or rescaling since my monitor is quite ultra wide. And then you can uninstall Pinterest just like that instead of having to go through Edge. Um, and one final thing before I close out the video is another thing you can do is you can manage all your apps by going to the normal uh, Microsoft Edge and then you just go to manage apps and you can see if you just push the X on each one, they go away. So if I press the X on YouTube, it says also clear data from Microsoft Edge. We can close YouTube. It closes from my taskbar and then give it a second. And now YouTube is gone. So that's a quick rundown on some features of Edge, the progressive web apps or PWAs. There's more features coming from it. I'm seeing that already. Um, that is under, you'll see those features if you type in under the browser Edge and you see the URL up there and then you type in flags. You can see all these experimental features coming uh, and it's it just works really well. There's so many things come into Microsoft Edge and I'll slowly be getting through those things as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if this was useful at all. Um, and take care. We just crossed 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys later.